Hey everyone and welcome back to the second part of this mini-series. So today we will be lighting and shading the scene, including the making of the ice cube shader creation. So let's get to it. Let me walk you through the scene here, cause it's very easy and nothing complex at all. I have this dome light to light the scene, but the only thing that I have made for it is I have blurred it out to give me this gradient look. If we open the effects, I have added a value of 50 in the filter and for the ground it's a very simple V-Ray material with a reflection. So it's basically mirroring the sky or the environment map. Let's come and assign a new material here for the cube and build this shader from the ground up. And one of the coolest things here, it's all procedural. So it can be modified and customized very easily without using any texture. Okay, now let me render this part only. And there you go. Alright, so now let's start to play with this. First, in the hyper shades, I will press tab. This will let me uh, to create a new node. First one will be the solid fractal. And let's create a marble texture. And now let's combine these two textures together using the using something like layer texture or a V-ray blend material. I'm going to use the layer texture to combine this. So in the layer texture, I will add the marble and the solid fractal, and I will delete this one because we don't need it. And in the blend mode, I will change it to multiply. Now, let's check out how this is looking. So, let's first assign this to the cube. And here we can adjust the setting of the texture. So, I will come to ratio for the salt fractal. And start to play with it till I get something that I like. So something like that will give me a strong contrast to start with. Now I will use the color remap node and this is like the curves in After Effects. So I will put the layer texture in the color of the remap color node. And let's modify the V-Ray material itself. Let's make it reflective. And make it refractive. I will connect the remap color to the V-Ray material, so I will connect any of the out color, say like the, the, the red, to the refraction glossiness. And immediately you will find a change in the glossiness uh, of the cube. Some parts will be more or less refractive of others, according to the black and white values of the map that we added. And now we can use the color remap node to put a value for the minimum and the maximum ranges. So for the minimum output will be 
0.600 and I will leave the maximum as is uh, so I will do one thing now let's duplicate the remap color uh, let's go to edit duplicate with with the connection network and this one I will add the out color uh, any of them to the, ref to the refractive color amount and it starts to give me this uh, layered look of the textures So let's adjust the output minimum to 0.800 and the maximum to 1.3 And let's duplicate the color remap nodes one last time and this one will, uh, will be added to the refraction IOR or index of refraction to have a different levels of IOR And let's set the minimum value to start with the IOR of the ice water value of 1.331 and the maximum value of 1.441. So it's so it's a range of values to have this extra push of realism. And the last thing I will do will be to duplicate this texture that has the solid fracture and the marble combined together. And using and using it as a pump map to break the edge of the cube. So obviously, this is a little bit hard. We can adjust it to have a very subtle effect. I think it's a bit strong, so let's decrease it to 0.01 and check it out. It looks good, but let's decrease it to 0.005. And there you go, it, it's, it needs to be tweaked, but we have a good start here. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed it, the tutorial, and uh, learned something new today. Uh, don't forget to uh, head to the website and download the project file completely for free. I will keep it uh, weekly, I promise. And uh, thanks for watching again. My name is Mina, and we will see you next time.